Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm going to show you a couple new things that they've added to uh, Premiere Pro 2025. A uh, very convenient item that they've added here. Uh, it's making it a little bit easier to composite, actually significantly easier, in my opinion, to composite images inside of your uh, timeline. And compositing is basically where you combine two or more images on the screen at the same time. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select a clip. And when you select a clip on your timeline, uh, they have added this little property panel over here as well that has some quick uh, f features to access, such as position, uh, scale, rotation. You can change the position of a clip. Uh, just right over here, which is really nice. It's kind of a, something they've borrowed from After Effects to a degree uh, that, that really makes it kind of quick and easy to uh, to manipulate. Uh, they also added this uh, fill and fit the screen. I'm going to do a separate episode on these right here because these are very important to understand. Uh, that basically, if you have an image that's smaller resolution than your timeline, you can tell it to fill the screen or fit the screen. And I will get into that in a later episode. Um, but the thing that I'm going to bring up in this episode is going to be the uh, crop features and transform features that they've added to the bottom left-hand corner of your program monitor. Uh, these settings used to be found under the effect controls, and uh, they did not have the crop features. They've added these crop features recently, and these are really, really nice. I, I really appreciate this. Uh, you do have a masking feature under opacity if you want to do more of a complex mask. This is just going to be basically like a rectangular square sort of uh, cropping tool that you have access to. So it is a bit limited, but still it's very, very convenient compared to what they had before. But like I said, if you wanna do more of an advanced mask, you can use the opacity feature to create a mask that's whatever shape uh, you wanna you want to create. But uh, but, the, but the crop feature is basically a watered down version of this that the, like just does the square or rectangular shaped masks. So they have the features right here inside of your effect controls window, but you can do a visual version of this by selecting a clip in your timeline. It will bring up the properties here in the property tab and we'll bring it up in your effect controls and we'll bring it up right here. This option is not there until you select a clip. If you click away from the clip, it's not there. Click on it and suddenly it's there. And you have two quick items that are really nice. You have either transform or crop. Let's go through the, uh, let's go through the transform first. So if this has not been highlighted, you can click on it and it will uh, turn, it will toggle this wireframe on and off. This is your transform wireframe. And what that gives you access to is the ability to basically grab your image and scale it down. And you'll notice as I do that is scaling the options here and over here as well. These basically the effect controls panel and the property panel are pretty much inseparably linked. When you change the scale, you'll notice uh, that the scale is changing here and here. You also have access to rotate. If you move your mouse over the corner here and, and kind of bring it out just a little ways, it gets this little curve arrow right there. If you click and start dragging, that is your rotate right there. Now you can rotate your image and put it put it kind of on a slant if you want to like that. And now I have my image that's on a slant. So let's select the clip again. A couple other options that we have here as well as you've got anchor point. If you want that to rotate around a certain uh, a part, a part of your image right here, right now it's rotating around the middle. It's like a little pin has been poked right there. But you'll notice on all these attributes when I change them, you'll know the, notice them change in the property panel and in the effect controls panel. I'm going to grab the anchor, which brings up in this little icon right there, this little square icon right there. I'm going to grab that and drag it down to the corner. And by the way, if you get it in the corner, you want it in the very corner. If you hold down command, it'll magnetize as it gets close to the corner. Magnetize and uh, lock to that corner right there. Now I can let go and my anchor point is right there in that corner. And so now if you scale it, it's going to grow out from that point rather than from the middle. And also, if you rotate, it's now going to rotate around that point. It's like a little pin that's poked into the screen there now, and it will rotate around that point. So you can change your anchor, you can change your you can change your scale, you can change your rotation, and you can also just move right here in the middle, click and grab, and you can change your position. And you'll notice that my position is changing uh, numbers as I move those. It's changing the X, X and Y values. So I'm going to reset that back to normal here. And now we're going to show you the crop feature here. So I'll move down here, and we'll choose crop instead of transform. So what crop does basically is we'll crop the type of the portion of the image that you want to re uh, keep on, on screen. It will create basically a mask for your image. And you've got these little hard corners here, uh, these little highlighted kind of edges here that you can go and grab. And you can basically grab this and you can uh, drag down the top to crop. You can grab it over from the side here to crop. You can grab it down here to do uh, the bottom and side at the same time. Uh, and then you can get, let's, let's say we just want to cut this guy's head out here and use that as part of our image. So I'm just gonna basically crop this down and you'll notice that the crop is changing over here and on your property and on your properties panel as well as it's changing the percentage of crop that it's doing. Uh, you can grab the whole mask just by clicking in the middle and move that around if you wanna change it to a different part of the screen. But let's say we wanna just do this guy's face here. I'm gonna move this up uh, one track here 
And I'm going to grab another clip and I'm going to put below this here. I'm going to grab uh, the shot of the other guy here, uh, right here. And I'm going to, let, let, let me move this to the side here so we can do this kind of as a separate composite here. I'm going to grab uh, this clip right here. I'm going to option click on it just to grab the video, drag it and put it underneath here. Just get rid of the audio altogether just to show, demonstrate the crop feature here. So now as we put the playhead over, we've cropped out this top image here and have that little square out right there. So let's do the same to the bottom. I'm going to click on the bottom one and now I'm going to crop to the other guy right here. Just get his face framed in. So now I've got a composite. I've got this track, that this I've got this guy that's on top. So his crop doesn't go all the way over to the edge. So it kind of overlaps the other one. Now, basically we can move these. Let's crop that just a little bit more. And now uh, I don't want those overlap though. I want one on one side, one on the other side. So I'm basically going to use a transform tool now. So I'll transform. Uh, I will grab this clip here and move it over to the edge. I'm gonna click on the bottom one here and we're, get, we're still on the transform tool and I can grab this one and move it where I want to. And now I basically have a picture in picture done with our crop and put uh, and put these on different parts of the screen here. So that's it for this episode. Just showing these kind of a couple new features that they, they've added to Premiere, especially this portion here where you're using the transform and or crop tool. So thank you for watching ChinFast. And if you have any comments or questions, just post them below. And I guess I'm supposed to tell people to subscribe. So subscribe to my channel. You don't have a choice because my voice is so persuasive and you have no choice but to do what I say.